Good Wednesday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Sorry about that. That should not be that graphic right there. It's about 8.33 instead of 10.30 a.m. This is the forecast that's going to be coming up later on this morning, but you got a good idea as to what's going on here. This is our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. That's what time we're recording and netcasting everything here. Thanks a lot to everybody for joining us. If you've never joined us here before for this netcast, thanks a lot for tuning in for the first time and taking a look around down toward the bottom portion of your screen. If you can't stick around for the entire forecast, it's in the blue bar. Social media information just below that in the red bar. Seven to ten day forecast over here, which is accessible here at this website at wrg.com slash weather. And of course, if you have any questions or concerns or anything on here you would love to see that we talk about with weather or science or anything else, again, mourning the passing of Dr. Uh, Professor Stephen Hawking for today. So that's a big thing for a lot of the science community out there. If you'd like to anything to, for us to share on here, if you'd like to let me know about that, let me know here at austin.onic at wreg.com. If you've got any concerns about the weather or if you have any reports from out there, let's see what's going on into the Mid-South. Drop your location, city and state, and if you have a weather report for the area, temperature, wind speed, whatever you've got, some amateur meteorology, let's see what's going on. Drop those into the comments section. We'd love to see more about that. For today, these winds out of the north are going to be dropping our temperatures a little bit. It's going to be a little cooler today than what is normal, which is about lower 60s or so. So mid 50s is going to be about as good as it gets for later on this afternoon. Dry across the mid south, not going to be seeing too much of anything in the way of rain yet, but that may change in the next several days. Add to that, we may be looking at the potential for some severe weather yet again as we go toward around Friday. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Taking a look around the area and again, relatively speaking for at least this time frame anyway. Six days, three hours, and ten minutes left before we change over the seasons. The season changes over March 20th. That's about 11.15 a.m. I believe that's Eastern time, so it'll be about 10 o'clock in the morning here in the Mid-South area, but less than a week to go until the official changeover from winter to spring coming up there, so not doing too bad, which is good news for the East Coast. Going through their third nor'easter in the same amount of weeks, the view from the observatory deck at Mount Washington in New Hampshire, totally socked in by some blowing snow again for this morning and a couple of feet worth of snow in the last couple of weeks and not looking much better, unfortunately, over the last couple of days for travel up that direction. Here in the Mid-South, plenty of sunshine, Heidelberg Elementary in Clarksdale, things looking very quiet, very sunny skies out there. Likewise, around Germantown High School, looking back toward the Northwest, Poplar Pike, Germantown traffic, and around the Water Towers area, so far so good, but it is on the chilly side out there. Temperatures in the mid to upper 30s. Humidity levels pretty dry for this time of the morning, so we've got some very quiet conditions into and around the area. Nancy Allen looking cold in Ripley, Mississippi. Thank you very much. Kenneth Sims loving the sunshine. Thank you very much for that. Phyllis White from Blytheville. Thanks for checking in. Jennifer Strouser from Rossville, Tennessee, and Clifford from Clifford Davis. Thank you very much uh, for checking in there. Beautiful day from Linda Hale Freeze. Hope I'm saying that right. Thanks a lot for checking in for this morning. View from around the area of Baptist DeSoto Camera in South Haven. Decently heavy traffic as we approach the peak of rush hour and decently quiet where weather is concerned looking off toward Horn Lake in the distance and not showing any visibility problems here. Rhodes College, plenty of blue skies and sunlight striking the eastern side of the cameras. If you've got weather pictures, stay tuned because we'll show you where you can send those in so we can feature them here on our daybreak programs and also on our netcast and we'll show you some of the pictures that have already been sent in for today and a live view from Hilton East Memphis camera 240 in Poplar traffic heavy but moving along pretty well in all directions Corey Ventura will have more on traffic coming up in about maybe 20 minutes or so on News Channel 3 so stay tuned for an update there uh, Toka Tennessee Aaron Welch Parks welcome to the show Betty Shearer from the U of M area thanks for checking in there and let's see watching from Helena Arkansas Stacy. Honey Burton Malden, if I'm saying that correctly, hopefully. As for this morning, again, we have little, if anything, show you on Storm Tracker 3S radar, complete and total clean sweep across the area, and not going to be seeing too much of anything anytime soon from what it looks like. Temperatures still on the chilly side, upper 20s to lower 30s. Winds north, northeast to northwest for the most part. But those winds are going to play a very big part in our forecast where the temperatures are concerned. Northerly winds right now, 
around the backside of that storm system, keeping the temperatures down. Next 24 hours, the winds are going to start turning around again from the southwest, so we'll see a lot of changes coming our direction. The moving lines on screen, you can see those winds again coming in from out of the north, northwest. Over the course of the day today, they'll be coming in from out of the west, bringing us some more dry air, and then eventually south-southwest into later on tonight. But as long as we're under the influence of those northerly winds, right on in through this afternoon, temperatures are not going to be that warm. Normal for this time of the year is about the lower 60s. We're only going to be in the lower 50s, mid-50s, again, in some parts of the area at best. So it's going to be a decently cool day across much of the area. So keeping that jacket handy as we go into the last full week of wintertime out there for right now. Shante McCoy-Williams, welcome to the show and good morning. See Tiandra Brown, the sun is out here in Louisiana, but the air is cold. Nice combination. A little bit cold for Louisiana at this time of the year, if I'm not mistaken. Good morning from Covington. Victor A. Johnson, thanks for joining us as well. And Betty Duncan from Horseshoe Lake, thanks for checking on in. Rest of the day, again, notice the lines on screen. They're now coming up out of the southwest, which means that tomorrow morning's temperatures as we go toward daybreak, they were pretty chilly this morning. Frost advisories across much of the Mid-South. Not going to be the case tomorrow. It'll be chilly, but not quite as cold as this morning. Mid to upper 30s to lower 40s, and that's going to be about as good as it gets for the morning hours tomorrow. Now, not for today and not for tomorrow, but as we watch a little bit closer to around Friday, the Storm Prediction Center is already placing the Mid-South in a couple of categories for the possibility of severe weather, and especially toward Friday afternoon and evening. The yellow category is a slight risk category, which is again a little bit higher than the green shade, which is a lesser marginal threat. Now again, this is not going to see quite as much of a threat as this area is, but here's the important thing. Everybody in the News Channel 3 viewing area stands some risk of severe weather as we go into Friday. That's going to be the important thing for right now, so you're going to have to get ready to go. Again, fresh batteries for the weather radio, making sure not everything's charged up. It does not look like a severe weather major outbreak, as in tornadoes and major amounts of damage, but remember, again, with tornadoes around, the isolated threat of them is enough to make certain you've got to get ready for this, and that includes paying attention to the forecast, which we will help you do right here, but you have to stay tuned to see what's going on. This forecast will change over the next several days. Always does, always will, and we'll keep you updated on this as, as we are able to do so. Right now, the threat is mainly for the southwestern part of the viewing area, the heaviest potential of severe weather down here. Again, less of a threat in the bright green shaded category, but this forecast will change and fluctuate over the course of the next couple of days. So again, please keep it tuned for more information on what's going on as we keep you updated on this. Whether or not this lingers into the weekend, it doesn't look like it right now. But once again, we'll keep you updated on that as we go throughout the next few days. All right, into the day today, midweek, temperatures back in the mid-50s with plenty of sunshine, very dry, just a little cooler than usual. And then tomorrow, the winds turn out of the southwest, which means the numbers are going to be bumped up into the high 60s across much of the mid-south. Heading into more cloud cover by early Friday morning, and then it looks like lunchtime and afterwards is going to be the best possibility of showers and developing thunderstorms across much of the area. Now going toward the weekend, St. Patrick's Day, I don't think it's going to be a complete and total washout, but once again, if you do have plans for outdoors on St. Patrick's Day for any celebrations going on, uh, anything like that happening, definitely want to have an indoor plan B ready to go just in case. Those chances of showers reduce a little bit but are still possible as we head into Sunday and then cooling off a bit as we go toward the last day of winter and the first day of spring next Tuesday. 70s on Monday, 50s Tuesday into Wednesday and then we bounce back again into the 70s with yet another chance of showers and thunderstorms toward next Friday. Now keep in mind this is again about 10 days out but We'll be keeping our eyes on that as well as the situation changes. Forecast as you get closer to an event, a lot more accurate over here in the sense that we can tell a little bit more about what's going on. But again, if we see signs like this happening this far out, something to pay attention to. And again, the forecast is not going to be the same. So you can't tune in today and expect the forecast here to be exactly the same. So that's why you got to keep it tuned to the weather experts. And we'll keep you updated on to uh, what we're going to be seeing into the rest of the forecast. So stay tuned for more there. April Hentz from Eureka Springs, Mississippi, 35 degrees. Thanks for the weather report there. 65 degrees. Amy Pruitt from Navarre, hope I'm saying that right, Beach, 
and sunny today sounds like fun and good morning from jackson tennessee rosy person thanks for joining us and from maynard arkansas just checking in 30 degrees at this time rebecca a bagwell thanks for uh, checking on in for this morning and stella spray if i'm saying that right thank god for tomorrow warmer yes finally getting in some warmer weather not sitting well with everybody unfortunately tire 38001 giving us a very short to the point weather report it's cold outside enough said so thank you very much mr tire for sending that in do appreciate that comment again if you're uh, dropping anything in, in the way of pictures we'd love to see them i asked for some help in helping to get the word out about making certain that you cover over your mouth and your nose when you sneeze and cough in public in the last few days i have seen entirely too many people just sort of letting it fly and i really just kind of icky poo on stuff like that. And yes, that is a scientific term. So I asked for help about maybe getting a sign ready to go that kind of communicates the idea that maybe just you should kind of cover over that just to make certain you and everybody else stay as healthy as possible. So Sherry Beware got a hold of a cover your cough sign and tweeted that one. So thank you very much for passing that along. Beautiful view from Oxford, Mississippi earlier this week from MS Storm Spotters. Thank you very much for that rosy glow picture there. And from South Carolina, the traveling Memphis underscore Tom, getting a very nice view from around the area of Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. So thank you very much for sending that in. We'll take your pictures from just about wherever. So if you have any, please tweet them to us, Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter, Aonic no underscore necessary WREG3 on Instagram, and my own Facebook page, facebook.com slash AustinOnic WREG. If you like to post anything there. If you got pictures, again, please send them in. I can't show them like I just did unless you send them. So again, if you want to get your photography out there in front of everybody, we'll be glad to show it off, and especially if it's weather in and around the Mid-South. But like I said, if you got stuff from other places, would love to see it as well around there. Catch my forecast until 10 a.m. with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live. You'll be going on the air from 8 o'clock just past that to about 10 o'clock this morning. Big sports news coming up, of course, with everything going on at the University of Memphis. They'll be talking to a lot of people about that. And, of course, my weather forecast as well. If you can't catch them in the radio signal here for the Mid-South, dial them up online at talkbacklivenetwork.org, and we'll keep you updated throughout the course of the rest of the morning through Live at 9 and into around News Channel 3 at noon. Todd Demers will be vacationing for the rest of the week, so you've got me for the morning and noon show and right on into the weekend as well. So we'll keep you updated with everything going on across the Mid-South where it comes to weather out there. Questions, again, concerns, any ideas about what you'd like to see on here, please let me know at austin.onic at wreg.com. Good morning from Paragould. Uh, Latrice Marshall, thanks for joining us as well. Eddie Spain, uh, your mom lives in Paragould. Cool. Thank you very much uh, for sharing on that. Thanks to everybody for dropping their comments and your weather reports into the comments section there. We'll have more information on the forecast here at our website, wreg.com slash weather, and throughout the rest of the morning, again, on News Channel 3. Live and direct from downtown Memphis from the News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for this morning's edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Another edition coming up just past live at 9 at about 10.30 or so on my Facebook page, so join me for more on that in the next few hours. Thanks for joining us, and stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of Wednesday.